Hello everyone, it's your girl Fiona and for today's video, I will be talking about public and private school. If you are planning to come to Canada through student pathway, you first have to know the difference between the public and the private school. In this video, I will first define the public and the private school and how they operate and then we will determine the difference of both. So the first one is the private colleges. Private colleges doesn't receive funding from the federal or their provincial governments. That means that they rely solely on the tuition fees of the students to operate their business or the school. So same with the Philippines, of course. Pag nasa private school ka, parang ang yaman mo, ang taas ng tuition fee mo, and that everything is very targeted kasi nawa one-on-one nila students since smaller size lang ang mga schools ng private. So, yun yung general idea ng private college. But that doesn't apply on international student, which I will discuss later. So next is, let's define the public college. Public colleges or community colleges are funded by the government. So this type of college is usually larger in size in terms of the courses offered as well as the students in there. Now let's compare the two. So earlier we defined the private and the public college and syempre in general yung tuition fee ng private is mas mataas kesa sa public. But then when it comes for international students, it's the opposite. So, mas mataas yung tuition fee ng public schools kaysa sa private colleges. And the reason why is, of course, syempre kailangan natin ang student permit. And getting that involves the government. And also, our pathway to PR involves the government. So, basically, for international students, private colleges are much, much more cheaper than the public college. So this is Toronto, Ontario, for example. The range of tuition fee for public school is more or less $16,000. But for private colleges, it depends on the program. They have 10000 8000 for the whole year. So, so baba. Like, imagine the 8000 is just one time sa public. And sa kanila one year na yun. So, it's cheaper talaga siya compared to public school for an international student. Next is the class size. As I mentioned earlier, since yung private school is konti lang yung offer nilang program, mas konti din yung students sa school. But, you know, I have a friend who studied in a private school and it feels like family because everyone knows each other. It just gives you this homey feeling. And I think that's a really nice experience to have compared to me when I studied on public school. Super dami namin. And in the end, kami pa ding tatlong pina yung magkakasama. So next one is the length of studies. So same din naman. Ranges from one to two years for a post-secondary certificate or diploma. For private college kasi, most of the time, nagpo-focus sila sa co-op. So, for example, years yung program mo. So, yung first year is mag-aaral ka. And the second year is co-op or internship. So, that will really help you save money if you are planning to study again for a public school. And public naman, usually, pinaka-last sem siya. So, if two years yung program mo, one year and one sem ka mag-aaral and then yung last sem mo is co-op mo. But for me, wala akong co-op nun. So, it really depends then sa program. So, the next one is the designation. Pero ano ba yung designation? So, ang designation, it's a designated learning institution or DLI. Kailangan enrolled ka sa school na may DLI or school na designated learning institution in Canada for you to be able to apply for a student permit. So all public or community colleges are all designated by the immigration authorities. So for private college naman, some may not have a DLI. So you should always check it on the Canada website because sometimes nawawala yung status nila for that. So to make sure if it's a designated learning institution, again, you can always visit the IRCC website because there are all the updates nila and everything about studying in Canada. Basically, there are all the information. So next one is working while studying in Canada. If you are a study permit holder, it's automatic. You can work up to 20 hours per week while studying in Canada. You can also work full time during breaks like, you know, spring break, winter break, every break. You can work full time. 
And this is available whether you're studying in a public or private college. So, basta may study permit ka, you can work. We are on the final round. Lastly, the PGWP or the Postgraduate Work Permit. If you are an international student who graduated from a public or a community college, then you will have a special work permit called the Postgraduate Work Permit or the PGWP. And on the other hand, a private college, no, uwi ka sa Pinas. Unless, yung private college na yun is may education pathway sila. Or, some private schools have specific programs that offer PGWP after. One of the example of this is the Trebas Institute in Quebec. They have two programs, which is the audiovisual and e-commerce, which is both a two-year program that can give you PGWP after. So those are the things that you can consider. So sobrang good deal yun. But other private colleges also offer education pathway that will help you transition to a public school like makikredit yung mga subjects mo. So ito kasi yung rule. Kapag galing ka sa private and nag-transition ka sa public, walang makikredit sa'yo. Unless yung private school na yun is may partner na public and they will let you transition through that school and credit the subjects available for your next program. So yun yung mga things to consider if kulang ka pa sa funds and gusto mong mag um, kapunta lang sa Canada and gusto mong mag save dito for your tuition fee for your public. Pero yun nga, medyo mahaba yung studies niya if nag-pathway ka. Pero at least, di ba? So this special work permit will help you stay here in Canada and find work and eventually apply for PR. So again, if one year ka nag aral one year PGWP, but then if two years na aral, it's three years PGWP. So, pick your poison. So additionally, for both, if you have a study permit, you can take your husband or your kids with you to help you save for your tuition fee and for your kids to have free studies here in Canada. So that's it. That's all the information that I want you to know when it comes to the private and the public colleges. I hope that you've learned from this video and if you do, please do subscribe and like so that I can create more videos for you. Good luck and see you! Paalam!